car is still hanging in there. It's getting a little late. Let's see what time it is. Let me check my 12.50. I say that because it costs me 12.50. 9.20. All right. It's late for me. It's late for me. You ever notice when you're starting to get older, you start feeling it? Anyone? I just had a birthday on Friday. I did. I'm feeling it. Thank you. I'm feeling it though, I'm feeling it. You ever uh, notice things are starting to mal like malfunction? Randomly. You know, like you're walking past a long mirror at Macy's. You're just shopping. Not in your own business. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god. changing you don't really notice I'm starting to notice it like for example um, my right armpit likes to sweat profusely <laughs> yeah hanging out with my friends we're having a good time I'm like huh that's new that's a new one could be sub-zero temperatures right armpit going to town left armpit nothing <laughs> It's like the Mojave. Nothing's going on over there. <laughs> Nothing's happening. It's weird. I started wearing panty liners in my t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. Saving money on deodorant. What? <laughs> I don't know. Not good about deodorant. Anywho. So yeah. I definitely can't go out and party like I used to. Like I said, tonight's a pretty early night. Thank God I'm going to probably be home by midnight. Hopefully aiming for it. Remember those days when you were like in your early 20s and you can go out and party at like 7 a.m. and go to work like an hour later? Remember that? <laughs> no. Nope, not happening. It's not happening. I'm on like a three day plan. Three. Three, like day one, I'm waking up, I sound like I've had a stroke. I'm like. I'm on solid foods and applesauce. <laughs> By day three, I'm ready to go back to work. I'm like, oh my god, you guys, I had so much fun on Sunday. You guys, what do you want to get? Anyone would be happy hour? What do I do? Like, Kim, you fell asleep like three weeks ago in a handicap stall. <laughs> <laughs> Your armpit was really sweating. <laughs> you might want to check that out. <laughs> Embarrassing. So I don't go out like I used to. Hangovers. What do you guys do for hangovers? Feel free to participate. This is a hair of the dog. Hair of the dog. Good play. Well played. Anybody else? What do you do for hangovers? Del Taco. Del Taco. Del Taco. You're, right. You're on the right path. The last time I went to Del Taco, I almost got shot. So I'll stick a Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell. That's what I do. I go to Taco Bell. Have you ever been so hungover that you go through a drive through and you pay for your food at the first window and you forget to pick it up? <laughs> mm. You're driving and you're like, oh my god, this is going to taste so... Fuck. <laughs> so you drive out and you go up to the next one on the way down and you stop at Jack and the Crank. It's only one window there, people. A lot less to keep track of. A lot less. So this time you go up and you pay for your food and you get it, you're like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and they fuck up your order. How hard is that? Like, really? You work at a fast food joint. Come on. So now you're a raging bitch. Like, you're pissed. So you're, you reverse back into the drive thru You don't give a fuck who's behind you. Who over Escalade? I'm coming. Coming back. And not only am I coming back, but I'm going to stop in front of the drive-thru and then get out of my car and go inside the joint. <laughs> at that point, when that door hits the wall and comes back at you, that you realize you should have rethought your outfit. <laughs> yep. Yep. Go barging in there wearing flip-flops and knee-highs. <laughs> you got on cut-off booty shorts to say, bitch across the ass. A 
ripped hoodie and the blowfish tank top? Am I dating myself? <laughs> a bald spot in the back of your head. For some reason your makeup's a little shift to the right. You have a temporary tattoo of Tinkerbell. <laughs> your armpit's sweating. It's a rough night. It's a rough day. You know what I hate about fast food joints though is public restrooms. I have a really weird phobia of public restrooms. I'm not kidding, like it's a serious problem. I will not pee. I won't go to a public restroom. Like what's the worst that's gonna happen? I walk in there and I like close the door and I hear somebody else walk in and I stop. I stop peeing. Like they're gonna be like, oh my god, do you hear that? <laughs> She's peeing. <laughs> being a woman having to use a public restroom for two re reasons, right? Number one, uh, women are disgusting. I don't know what you guys are doing in there, but by the time you get out, it looks like you had a real gangbang of a time. <laughs> Number two, every lock on every door is broken. Like you had a Tai Chi your way out. Like, what are you doing? Like, Poo! That was an awesome kiss! Yes. <laughs> And then my knee, like, my knees like close together, trying to hold my pants up. I don't want my pants to touch the ground. And my legs are getting tired, you know. So I gotta lean and do one cheek. Just one cheek. There's not that many germs. Just one cheek. And then I'm like, oh, it's good. But then my foot slips out from underneath me, and before I know it, I've blown my knee pap out. The door's flung open. Everybody can see I'm peeing. The flusher is going off. The sensor is just fucking. My ass is stopping wet. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm peeing. <laughs> so I don't use public restrooms. I use them. I don't. It's at those moments, though, in horror, when I have my deepest thoughts. Deep thoughts. Like, does it make anybody else nervous when they see a motorcycle with a handicapped license plate? <laughs> That makes me nervous. <laughs> I think that, I think if you wear pants, or shorts, I should say, that go below your knees, right and you wear socks that come above your knees, <laughs> you should wear pants. <laughs> You're obviously catching a chill. <laughs> what do you call that, your pants? <laughs> I'll catch you guys at the Lakers game, I gotta put my sh pants on. <laughs> sh pants. Socks. Shorts. Come on. Really? <laughs> we have Lakers fans here? Am I gonna get shot when I'm on the outside? Is that gonna happen? Wouldn't it suck to be the girl in the smelly vagina commercial and be recognized on the street? <laughs> That's like the big break you don't brag about, right? You came up to California and you score a commercial. Did you get anything? Nope, definitely not Vagisil. <laughs> definitely didn't get that commercial. Everything's great. It's great right there. It's great. Commercials, though, I think that commercials would be uh, more inclined to sell things if they didn't waste their time with so many logos, you know, like Activia. Not really, like eat it, you have to poop, right? Well, they just tell us that. None of this might all because sometimes you just don't feel like yourself. <laughs> How about might all? Stop being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fat free. You've already had enough. <laughs> <laughs> or how about a uh, the morning after pill? You're a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Have you taken it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with this. Uh, I do watch a lot of TV, and I like to watch things like Animal Planet and History Channel and Discovery Channel. Do you guys watch that stuff? Woo! Yeah, 
it's really entertaining to me. So I watched um, a thing a couple weeks ago about barnacles. Do you guys know what barnacles are? Woo! Anyone that doesn't, I'm gonna explain it to you. I'm that girl. So barnacles are these small little like amoeba like gooey things. They have little small soft shell. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. The cool thing about barnacles is that they have penises that are larger than their bodies. Woo! <laughs> cool for them, not for me. <laughs> so when I rock on, they have big penises. So the way that they mate is by whipping their penis at innocent bystanders. <laughs> Girls. Could you imagine? You're hanging out at Starbucks. Just chilling, talking about the hills. Oh my god, did you catch that episode last Wednesday? It was such a... <laughs> 